Last year I came to Japan after the uh, Fukushima accident and spoke to the people of Japan on behalf of the European Committee on Radiation Risk about the um, cover-ups that were taking place and about the health effects that the accident, that the releases from the accident would have. Um, recently I was approached by the Kodansha Publishing Company um, to produce a book uh, on all of the findings that we have, we have relating to the cover-ups and relating to the health effects um, in the Japanese language. And this book will be published, uh, is being published today on the 25th of July. And inside it you will see an um, enormous amount of information which you will not get on the media because the media have been systematically covering up the evidence of the dangers from the accident. You will see leaked data on the extent of the contamination, data from the United States Embassy where they were measuring the contamination in Tokyo on the roof of the US Embassy right from the very beginning and none of this information was released. Data from vehicle filters, from car filters, which were sent to me by the people of Japan and soil samples that were sent to me by the people of Japan and which we analysed here in the laboratories, which showed enormous levels of radioactive contamination even as far away as Tokyo. And indeed in one air conditioning filter from the central Tokyo on the 20th floor inside a building we found 130,000 becquerels per kilogram of cesium. The effects that all this will have on the people of Japan are easily predictable on the basis of the risk model of the European Committee on Radiation Risk. And you will see these effects laid out in, in, in detail in this book, so you will know what to expect. And in fact, we are already seeing the beginning of these effects. We are hearing now that in a survey of children's thyroids, 36% of the children surveyed had thyroid growths. 36%. So, so what's happening is happening much faster than it happened after Chernobyl. And we are also hearing, I get all the time, uh, people let, telling me about strange illnesses, about people dying suddenly for no reason, about young people having heart attacks. Exactly the same thing that happened in Belarus and the other parts of the contaminated areas of the ex-Soviet Union after Chernobyl. You will also see evidence that Reactor 3 was a nuclear explosion. Measurements made of xenon isotopes um, from, from America after the accident show ratios which could only have occurred from a nuclear explosion. So it was not a hydrogen explosion, it was a nuclear explosion. So I've been warning since the Fukushima accident of the cover-ups of these health effects and you will find all of this information in the medium, in Japanese, in the book, which is being published today, 25th of July, by the Kodansha Publishing Company. Thank you. Video. The video of the filter. Yeah, well, we can just pan into Oh, we just send another section, and we'll cut and paste that out. Well, I can't just, I'm still talking to the camera now. So we Can you please tell about the video? The uh, evidence that the contamination was severe in uh, Tokyo um, is that, that, that an air conditioning filter from central Tokyo was sent to me and I measured the levels of radioactivity in this filter. And there will be an, there is another another video which is being presented after this one or separately. There was another video that's being presented, which will show the measurements that have been made on this filter and show the evidence that there is high level of cesium one three seven, cesium one three four, but also enriched uranium and lead two ten and polonium two ten, very very serious radionuclides in central Tokyo. In central Tokyo. Thank you for listening. It's all on YouTube. You can find it, the video on contaminated filter.